Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about um, men, estrogen, and weight gain. Okay, this video is for men. Um, I want to talk about the relationship between estrogen and the male body because men are be becoming exposed to estrogen more and more as time goes on. Primarily, I think mainly it's coming from the GMO foods because if you take corn and especially soy and, you, uh, and it's genetically modified, that's basically what the feed is for the cattle the chicken, the turkey, all the meats that people eat, unless you're doing organic. and But it's in, in eggs, you see a vegetarian feed. Well, it's still GMO uh, soy, unless it's organic. So we're getting a lot of estrogen. It's coming through in many different ways. So we'll give you some solution, but here's what's happening. Your fat uh, on your body, the more fat you have, the more estrogen you're going to make. So unfortunately, your own fat is working against you, okay? So what's the solution? Is to lose the weight, then to produce less estrogen, okay? Prostate enlargement, that's a huge one for men. Prostate cancer, it's coming from estrogen, so we have to lower it. So there's also an enzyme called aromatase, which takes that last bit of testosterone that you have and converts it to estrogen, which is not good for, um, uh, you know, low testosterone, erectile dysfunction, uh, urination at night because the prostate's so enlarged. So now, here's the question. What can we do about it, okay? Um, first of all, what will uh, mess up this hormone and increase this enzyme for this conversion is uh, a liver problem. Mainly two things, cirrhosis of the liver and a fatty liver, okay? Cirrhosis of the liver comes from inflammation or a fatty liver or bad eating over the years or hepatitis or alcohol, many different things. But that's scar tissue, then you got a fatty liver. That comes from high levels of insulin over the years. You've eaten junk, you're drinking alcohol, um, you haven't eaten enough good things. Maybe you, uh, you, had, you, you don't eat your vegetables, or you've been eating a lot of sugar for many, many years. So now you have this liver problem, now you're getting too much estrogen. So what are you going to do about it? Um, there's an enzyme called serapeptase. Write that down, serapeptase, if you have cirrhosis. Um, I would get it in 200,000 IUs. I don't have a source, you just have to find it. Um, and you take two on an empty stomach three times per day. That enzyme has a unique property of getting rid of scar tissue. And there's been really good results with cirrhosis. But you have to also clean up your diet at the same time or it's not going to work. Now, if you have a fatty liver, choline is your mineral. You need to start consuming more choline. It's a fat-soluble lipotrophic vitamin, B vitamin, that will help reduce fat on the liver. Of course, that's in addition to lowering um, insulin, which I put a link down below, um, which you really want to correct something called insulin resistance because that's really what's making the liver fatty, okay? The best tip or nutritional remedy for lowering estrogen in men and women is cruciferous vegetables, but there's a concentrated cruciferous, which I really like, called DIM. I put a link down below for more information, but DIM is like having two pounds of cruciferous vegetables in like two pills. So that's a really good way to help you regulate this right here. And then when you actually decrease estrogen, you increase testosterone. Also, stinging nettle root is another really good one to help reduce estrogen. And it's good for uh, prostate. It's good for um, balancing your hormones, okay? Fermented vegetables, very important, pickles, sauerkraut, consuming that on a regular basis. You don't even need much, but every day I would start consuming that. That is going to help start bringing this thing into balance. As you lose weight, and you have less fat, that means less estrogen, so you'll, your body will start coming back. But these are just some uh, interesting pointers to notice if you're starting to gain weight and um, you're wondering why. It's probably related to some estrogen. All right, thanks for watching. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Please click the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.